100 years ago. 18 men and women became the first students to pursue an education at Phoenix Junior College. From the beginning, BC's founders made a firm commitment to educational access. While other institutions of the era were entangled in prejudice, Phoenix College was destined to be a campus where everyone came to learn and launch into greatness. Through several long-range moves and events that would change the course of the world, Phoenix College adapted quickly to meet the changing needs of students, the community, and the nation. When our liberties needed defending, Phoenix College trained civilian pilots and cadet nurses for wartime service. And when our young people returned home, PC provided a refuge for veterans integrating back into civilian life. These young men and women, now adults, petitioned administrators to drop Junior from the name and proudly adopt the title Phoenix College. After the war, the Valley of the Sun experienced dramatic economic growth. The little college in the middle of cabbage fields was soon surrounded by a booming metropolis. In the early 1950s, the student body elected its first African-American president, and the college hired the first African-American faculty member. On July 2, 1964, the rest of the nation caught up. As the cultural landscape continued to change, I shall resign Phoenix College provided a safe haven for women seeking to enter the workforce. Dr. Myrna Harrison became the first female president of the college in 1989, followed by many more, including the first Hispanic president, Dr. Karina Gardea. And then, the world changed again. At a time when the nation was in a state of chaos and confusion, Phoenix College responded with equity. We continued to reflect, educate, and serve our community. For 100 years, through economic depressions, wars, groundbreaking legislation, and earth-shattering events, Phoenix College has found new ways to learn, understand, and educate. Phoenix College has always reflected the best of who we are and what we can be. We continue to lean into the promise to welcome change, to create equity, and to model the way for our community, our country, and our world.